Hello everybody and welcome to episode one of Educating Ed, the Elite Dangerous live stream where I join the prominent groups, prominent community groups, and they show me the ropes for an evening and tell me about how they do their things and I get involved and I learn and it's amazing we play Elite Dangerous and we all talk and have a nice time together and what better way to do that with episode one, of course, with by bringing on what you can see here, this lovely logo to my... Up that, up that way, you can see that we have a lovely Fuel Rats logo because today, for episode one, the Fuel Rats are going to be joining us and the Fuel Rats are going to be taking me on a drill. I don't know how this is going to go. I feel like a nervous child on his first day at school. So please bear with us. We are going to be playing in private, in a private group at first because I want to learn the ropes in a nice easy way at first, in a nice easy private group. And then following that, we might even brave open play to see if we can do an actual real fuel rats drill. But I <laughs> I couldn't uh, do this, of course, without the help of some key influences in the fuel rats. Um, so let me introduce the people who are going to be helping me out today. From the fuel rats, the first of all, I'll introduce, as you can see, oh no, you can't see on my screen just yet, but you will, you will soon. We're basically, First of all, oops, sorry, I just nudged something on my screen. <clears throat> all right, we're okay. Let me introduce Karen. Bonjour, Karen. Hello. Bonjour, Karen. Hopefully everybody at home can hear Karen. Karen, wh wh what is it that you do? How long have you been part of the Fuel Rats? And why are you here helping me out today? What, what, what exactly is going on? Please tell me. Well, um, I've joined the Fuel Rats, like, uh, very soon, in June. And uh, what is going on today? Well, we received a letter from a Galactic Intern and we would like to review his... Uh, My application. His application. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I hope that we do all right today. I think it's going to be really exciting because I'm really excited to, excited to learn myself about what the Fuel Rats do, but also show people at home what the Fuel Rats do because it is absolutely amazing. If you haven't heard of the Fuel Rats and you are just accidentally stumbling on us, then well, stumbling in on us, then welcome. You can learn today all about what the Fuel Rats do. Um, I think in a, just a second we'll bring on, I think he's ready, Mr. Radlock. Are you there, Mr. Radlock? I am here. Commander Radlock, the man with the single sexiest voice in the galaxy. Can you give us a little yeah. preview of um, of Commander Radlock in action? Oh, jeez, I don't even know where to start for that. Uh, let's see. We are about to engage on a simulated training exercise followed by some live fire, hopefully without actual weapons fire, uh, training for Edward Lewis, our intern rat, as it were. So... It's Any other questions you might have? No, I mean, I have plenty of questions. We <laughs> have a great audience, fantastic audience of about 240 people here. And I just oh, want to say thank you guys for coming along and watching us. It really is a pleasure to stream to such a, a, an awesome core community group. Um, but Radlock, yeah, I, I want to ask you a question, a couple of quick questions before we get started. First of all, are you a professional voice actor? Because that voice is incredible. <laughs> uh, actually, it's more of a hobby than a profession, but I do have a couple of uh, projects I've worked on. There's actually a game that's, I believe, coming out next month called uh, Bombshell on right. PC, I believe. And I play a character in that game. So, that's yeah, there's really, some stuff really out there. Yeah, you, you sound a lot like the Halo announcer to me. That's, that's, my, that's, <laughs> that's, that's my thoughts on it. I'm sure you've been told that before. But how can I keep up with two such amazing, wonderful voices I don't think that's going to be possible. We have a Frenchman who sounds incredible, and then we have Radlock as well. And then you have me from the north of England sounding like that. You're right, lads. How's it going? Let's go and let's go and save us some fuel is out there in space, locked up. Let's have a go. Anyway, so we have so much going on. Tell us, Karen. Um, I'm going to skip over to the. Uh, we have actually. I am actually in game here, in yes. my ASP. So tell us, Karen. Tell us what are the fuel rats. What do they do? Who are they? What do they get up to? You know, that sort of thing. Give us a little, a little rundown of a bit of history of the fuel. Okay, so a bit of a backstory. Once upon a time, when uh, 1.3 wasn't even a thing, uh, Surly Badger was on his way to Hutton Orbital and he ran out of fuel and he had to stare at his screen while the ice creeped on his uh, cockpit and he had to self-destruct and he said, 
Man, that's really a shame. I, I wish someone could come and give me fuel. So comes 1.3 and the fuel uh, controller limpet, and he said, "That's it. I'm going to to create something. We are going to make um, a collective of people that only do one thing, and that yep. one thing is bringing fuel to the fuelless." It's absolutely awesome. It's so good. I I think it's really really cool, and I love the fact that you have been enabled to do that in the game in such a, a nice seamless way. Um, and Commander uh, and, and Radl, I'm sure you've got much more you can say about what the what the fuel rats do and how they do it. And today, that is what it's all about. I'm going to be doing a fuel run uh, in this time. But first of all, it is important. People are commenting in the chat, which is fantastic. Thank you guys for saying about like uh, stuff to do with uh, the ASP that I, I, I'm in. I have to admit, as the Galactic intern, and every week uh, in, in in educating Ed, I am going to be joining up with a different group of. Um, this game is Elite Dangerous, Andrew, Brian. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Uh, are, are amazing. You stumbled upon a great community stream here and a great bunch of people in the chat as well. So make him feel at home, everybody. Make Andrew feel at home. Say hello to Andrew. Anyway, sorry. Back to back to the mission today. I keep getting distracted by the chat. I think it's gonna. I think we're gonna do a real good job of showing it off today of what the fuel rats do. Uh, and I think it's such a fine example. And I really want to thank you both. It's a real fine example of of what the community brings to this game. It's real ingenu ingenuity, like the fuel rats and things like that. So thanks, guys. You're Let's welcome. have a look over. Hi, Andrew. Says Paul Rhodes. Hello, Andrew. There you go. Uh, thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> so moving over here. Look. So I want to say first of all, the Galactic Intern this series, uh, educating Ed brings the Galactic Intern to all sorts of different community groups. So I'm also going to be joining up with the Elite Racers soon. I think the Elite Secret Service have something planned for me. I might even spend some time with Code on a purely journalistic endeavor, I promise. <laughs> but but I, but I think it's a lot of fun to do, to do these and, and learn all about what the different communities do in Elite Dangerous. But it does mean that I might have to uh, be given some uh, help. Uh, so when I do show you my name here in the, uh, in the, uh, in the status bar there, uh, yes, you can see that I've been helped a little bit by uh, by Dad. Dad's helped me out with the balance. So you can see I'm called Commander of the Galactic Inter, uh, but I have been helped out with my balance. So uh, that's because Dad supports me through university. He supports me through all my all my endeavours, and he wants to make sure that uh, I am uh, getting good education. So I've got a good a good way in life ahead. So I'm sure he'll cut off that help soon at some point. But anyway, that's why I've got so much money. Just letting you know. Okay, so Radlock, hello again. Hello. I think we have a little bit of a reveal. You're actually going to be supporting me through this, aren't you? You're going to be, you're going to be assisting me in this, talking me through step by step what the fuel rats do and how to do it. Am I correct? That is correct. And what ship have you chosen to do that in? Well, for the time being, I've is. chosen to fly my Raticonda. It's good <laughs> yes. for general all-around uh, fuel ratting, as well as a little bit of bounty hunting on the side when yeah. I am waiting for a Look signal to come in. At that, there he is. There he so is. yes, come, I will be uh, running training for you in this. Uh, when yeah. we go to live, I may switch to the ASP to help uh, keep up because ASP has a really decent jump range. Uh, yeah. Kitted out Anaconda, not as much. Mm. So, but the Anaconda will help support me if <laughs> if we <laughs> if I get interdicted because like, oh, that's, yes. that's, I think that's a good a good point to move on. If I go to my Starport services, I can show you uh, the. Um, so when I got asked, when I asked to do this, I asked these guys very kindly help to, to come on and join me here. Um, I said to them, what kind of ship will I need? And they said, okay, well, go to fuelrats.org. So if you go to fuelrats.org right now, you can actually see uh, on there, um, there's a how to rat section. And then you can actually see the ship. There's a step-by-step -step selection thing you can go through to get the perfect fuel rat ship. So I will show I will show you my ship and outfitting and show you what guys have done. And maybe you guys can talk me through what kind of perfect ship I would need. I don't know who wants to take that, either Karen or, or Radlock, who wants to talk about that for a bit. I can talk about it for a little bit. Uh, are you on the outfitting screen right now? I am just about to be. Yeah. Give okay. me a second, it's just loading. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Here we are. So first of all, I just want to show you my ship as well, because look how beautiful that is. That is a lovely paint job called the Gold Pharaoh. And I've also got the community decal on there, which is these hands joining up together. And the community decal can only be uh, received if you attend community events that we hold. Uh, and actually, they're quite rare. So make sure next time holding a community event that you try, you try and get down, because you can get one of these decals as well, which I think is absolutely awesome. I think it's one of the nicest decals out there. But shh, I'm telling you. Anyway, but there you go. Here's my ship. So, 
I'm looking at my internals right now. So everyone can see from my hard points as well, which isn't going to help because people have been saying all day, you're going to be a target. You're going to be a target in this stream because 350 people are going to be watching you and they're going to come and try and come after you. Well, if you look at my utility mounts and my hard points, you can see that I'm completely empty. Now, why might that be? Well, uh, that'll cut you down on weight, so it helps for your jump range, helps you get to a rescue, and when you've got high-powered thrusters on there, it's also going to make you go faster. Okay. Uh, one of the things you could potentially uh, do for a pure defensive approach is on your utility slots, put things like chaff, put things like heat sinks, so that if someone's going to drop your shields, you don't have shields anyway, well, you might as well run silent, go cold, and try and drop off their scanners while you can get your FSD charge to jump out of there. Okay. Right. Well, they, that's awesome. And you can see that I've got an unladen jump range of 34.76 light years on here. So I think that's pretty high, isn't it? And I've obviously put a big yep. chunk of money into this. So this is actually a really uh, quite high. Yeah, I, I like lifeboat orange, very appropriate to somebody in the chat. So oh, I've yes. also, I, I've chosen certain types of things. Like obviously I've not gone for like the highest rating things on here as well. Or um, c can you tell me why I might not go for, so for example, my thrusters are D4s? Why does that right, have so, an impact on a, on being a fuel rat? Tell me, tell me what. Just you, I suppose you can talk me through step by step. Power plant yeah. thrusters, so, frameshift drive. As we go down the list, in a lot of cases, if you're going with max A rated everything, it's going to be heavier, which is going to hurt your jump range. Okay. So in addition, particularly for the power plant, yeah. when you're running a fuel rat build, you don't have a whole lot of weapons on there. You don't have a whole lot of systems on there. You're not consuming a lot of power. So mm -hmm. there's no reason to throw an A5 power plant on there. Just throw an A2 on there, and it'll cover what you need. Uh, things like the thrusters, for most of what the fuel rats do, it's leave a station, jump to somewhere, and get into an instance. You don't do a whole lot of flying around. If you're having to dodge constant interdictions and mm -hmm. things of that nature, then having higher power thrusters might help you get away faster. But okay. in general, it would also hurt your jump range. So R R Radlock, um, if anybody could actually pay attention to what Radlock was saying and you weren't distracted by how amazing his voice sounds... <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I think you, you seem to know quite a bit about this. How many of these rescues have you done yourself? Uh, let's see. I think I have done 137 rescues. 137. So, so how many, to how many yeah. total are you guys up to now? Because I remember your 2000th video, which was absolutely... Three, uh, uh, let's three see. 34 something. You want, you're up to 34 now. Yeah, we're at 3464. 3464. As of this moment. So everybody... We want to get to 5,000, so everybody run out of fuel so the fuel rats can celebrate their 5,000th rescue. <laughs> That's what we want. We get to 10,000. If you do that, I'll have to create another video for that. Yeah, you will. You will. Have you got any more plans for the fuel rats other than what you guys do? I mean, what's your sort of... Uh, before we actually jump in, because already the time is, is flying by, uh, I want to... Mm -hmm. So we should actually start doing this drill. Um, uh, we which, don't have many projects. Um, the fuel rats is a collective... Uh, for one goal only. Mm. And it's kind of uh, restrictive, but it's uh, the way we like to play. So we aren't going to change our ways. Uh, we just want to help people. We we are in it for the glory, the stories, and the warm, fizzy, fuzzy feeling of saving another one. Yeah. It, uh, that, and I think that's what's lovely about it and what's really, really nice about it. So I'm going to launch now, actually, and start moving things forward. I don't know if you want to join me, Radlar, because we head out um although actually sorry i don't know this is you've got to talk me through what i'm supposed to be doing and i've just realized i've just launched uh well launching's fine what should i do first <laughs> go ahead and leave the station before you get blown up by the station oh, just, that'd be just, a good first step yeah i'll do that okay, i can do that as soon as i put uh focus onto my screen oh, we go. engines engaged all right this is where i really so i have very 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 low shields Mm -hmm. Very low shields indeed. This is where I very cautiously. Landing gear retracted. Okay, so first things up, we're gonna do uh, so one we or were, two by the way. drills. Uh, we were, oh yes. We fuel, uh, just uh, Volheim Vision. We got the fuel rats mischief there. Yep, Look. that is our minor faction in game. Yeah. Uh, in the fuelum system. So uh, what so we're gonna do now? We do have a question in the chat really quickly. Do yeah. many people run out of fuel? Someone says, I've never done it because I, I, I plan my routes. And that is oh, a, yes. I suppose that is a good question. Yes, we do. Yes. We answer uh, oh, 60 to 90 calls a day. Wow. And how many fuel rats do you have? How many people have sort of officially joined? And, and does every single one of them do a little drill like this? We have uh, 878 rats as of now. And uh, usually we have uh, like between uh, 10 and 40 people active uh, at all times. 
the beauty of it is we have people from every country in the world we have uh, one guy from azerbaijan yeah. uh, australia america england the swedish um yeah. everyone okay we even have you. french people you even have french people so i don't believe the french turn up for this i don't believe the french turn up for this uh yes nice mug ed i just held up my fuel rats mug i don't know if you guys saw it but yeah it's a really nice mug mm. So, Radlock, sorry, take it away. I mm -hmm. do apologize. What are we, what are we doing right. here? Why, uh, I need to concentrate on the job at hand. This is very unprofessional. How will you take me on for a full-time job if I don't behave and follow instructions? Well, that's Ready. okay. We can, we can get through this. Uh, so, first thing we'll do, uh, two drills. Uh, we'll do a pretty simple drill, just get you through the basic mechanics. Uh, mm -hmm. Then, time permitting, we'll try uh, something that's a little bit more complicated. So, for the first drill, uh, we've already got Karen, who's managed to get himself stranded out in a system somewhere, and he's going to need some fuel. So, Karen, w where are you at at the moment? So, I was going to a peak, and um, I got lost. Uh, maybe you can try <laughs> this going is fantastic to... acting from Karen here. Very good. Go, keep going. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. sorry. But it's I'm, not I'm, acting. I've got to start really, listening. Really. Course, I was going to at. at a peak, yeah. thank you. And uh, I got lost on the way. I was uh, near Senones, mm -hmm. so maybe you can go come this way. Okay. So, where uh, again? Give me the. Uh, sorry, tell me, Radlock. What should I do at this point? <laughs> I've got the so head. at this point, uh, so he just told us that he's near Senones. So okay. what you could do is you could open up your galaxy yes. map. I can and do then that. Over on the navigation tab where it says inner search system name to do a search. Yes. You're going to want to type in Sononas. That is going to be S E N O N E S. And that should get you close, I think. That has got me directly onto Sononas. Uh, okay. okay. So I'm plotting the route now, and that is just the delightful two jumps, jumps for me in my amazing. Frame shift ass, charge course, detected. So too far. Well, I'd say go then. All right, let's do this. You are on the case. Okay. Do oh, not no, comply. Just... My fuel scoop. What? That one's good. Oh wait, yes, it was. Sorry, I was confused. Frame shift. I need this. This is, this is this is educating Ed. This is so there are going to be some times where I hold up my hand and realise that I am stupid and cannot play <laughs> this game properly. So if I ever do make mistakes, that's the point of this series. Is I'm supposed to be learning all about it. And I think at the end of the stream, uh, Four, so in about 50 minutes three. time. I want everybody Two, to vote one, on whether they think the fuel actually employ me or not. I think that'll be a really nice way to end the stream. Yes. Okay, so now that you are en route to Sononis. And I'm so excited. Uh, I'm so excited for this. The next step is going to be getting connected with the client that we're trying to rescue. So we do that by having the client send us a friend request, and that mm. helps with shenanigans and some other things. Okay. So ultimately, Karen, you need to send a friend request to the Galactic Intern. I'm so if you doing can go that ahead and right do that. Now, should I it jump to the next up. one? Should I jump to the next one first, or? Oh yes, yes. So I jump to the yeah. actual Sononis first. I yep. just did the, 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 um, the Explorer and me couldn't resist doing a little long range scan. Is there any reason why <laughs> I need the long range scanner? Uh, so, to make money. Uh, yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> <good. laughs> oh, is that just to make that's money as you go? Yes. Yeah. Right, exactly. I, always, I did wonder. I did wonder. Yeah. Ready to so uh, I mean. Running a fuel rat operation, uh, assuming that your ship doesn't get blown up, it's really a low-cost operation. Limpets cost 100 credits a ton. So yep. you go on a rescue, four, you might spend three, 400 to 800 two, credits on a rescue one, and then come back. Engage. You've got a fuel scoop. Fuel is free. Yep. So that way you expiration. Do, I mean, and, and you guys do this for the, for the glory, really, isn't it? Is that the right way? And the story. That is one way to consider it, yeah. Yeah. The glory, the stories, all that fun stuff. Everyone's telling me to watch my heat. Everyone's too panicked. Everyone's just, just calm down. I'm chill. I'm chill over here. Oh god, I'm going straight at the sun. Right, okay. Um, just uh, chipping in. Usually, we ask uh, people to disable every module except uh, life support Fuel and uh, power plant because okay. it saves fuel. So let's do this yeah. properly. Let's do this properly. So how do I? So you need to add me as a friend first, right? Well, that's what would happen. We would, I we would sent a friend you. request. You have done that already. Yep. Okay, so we have... Oh, I've got Karash. I'll add him as well. Hello. And Ashley will continue. You can join me. All right, so K Karen. Yep. There you mm -hmm. go. You have okay. been added now. Right. So now that you're on Karen's friends list, mm -hmm. Karen can invite you to a wing. And the wing is how we're going to get to where Karen is. Okay. So Karen will send you a wing invite. And while he's at it, he can also send me one. Yeah. And that's done. Okay. Yeah, I see that appearing up here, so I accept your invite. 
And there we go, I've joined you in that, so I've found where you are now. So you can do a wing beacon, is that right? I'm, assu I'm sorry, I'm, I'm jumping ahead, I shouldn't assume things. <laughs> you exactly. are correct that that would be the next step. Uh, let's let's go ahead and try that. Karen, go ahead and activate Fuse. your wing beacon. I just activated my wing and I am uh, patiently waiting for my fuel. Okay, uh, on your scanner, Ed, do you see uh, Karen's wing beacon? I see, um, hold on, just go to contacts, right? Yes. Uh, Fuel scoop disengaged. No, no contact in range? No contact in mm. range. So That's interesting. Try, try checking the GAL map. Sometimes people say they are going somewhere, like yep. Xenonis, and yep. there are aren't really there. Okay. Uh, interesting. Okay, I see you. Uh, I yes, I am not in Xenonis. You cheeky, <laughs> cheeky <laughs> man. Right, uh, yep. so I, I was very confused the, uh, and I ended up in another system, you know? No, just, just tell me what the system is, I can't seem to get you on this map. Oh, they, wait, what system are you in? Our Coronae Austrini. It okay. couldn't be that easy. G give, me, give me the spelling for that one. I'm using, okay. a, I'm using the, the thing is I'm using here, I'm using a D-pad on the controller. So oh, I'm really okay, I see. To actually get, I, it, honestly, I'm not that new, I promise, I promise. Uh, so yeah, give me... Um, the it should be the system that's just yeah. above Sinonis, okay. uh, but if you need the spelling, it's R space C O R O N A E space A U S. No, start again. This is the galactic. The galactic. The galactic intern is failing here. <laughs> I feel like I'm definitely going to get fired by the end of this. Go on. Okay. I should have switched to. Uh, uh, sorry, I should have switched to realistic view. That's what it was. I, pa I panicked and forgot to do that. There oh, you go. Yeah, that's power play mode will screw. Although up. I've I've lost you again though. Yeah, Red Luck is uh, already there. There um, we are. Sorry, guys, I just I forgot. I Ed, really once you exit right. the jump, please take the time to to indulge in the view, yeah. because uh, Air Corner is a, a very special uh, star. So I'm sorry. I'm so embarrassed by that. <sighs> Thanks. I got it. What could be worse? I'm on you it. I'm on it, right? I'm great, guys. The star. Everyone's telling me. Everyone's still saying it in the chat as if I haven't changed already. Come on, guys. I, I need to change the real stick. I was, I was trying to pretend three, to be the galactic intern. Two, I was trying to pretend to be one, a new. What's in about that? <laughs> <laughs> Played this game for over a year. <laughs> Feel that smug, everyone. Cheers. <laughs> right, guys. Sorry. Tell me more. Okay, so now that you are jumping see you. into the system, now you should Fuel be able to see Karen's wing beacon. Yes. Okay, so go ahead and point yourself towards it. Yep. How far away is it? It is 2,148 light seconds. All right, 2,000 light seconds. That'll take us about a minute to get there. Uh, so when we get there, you're going to have to engage your wingman nav lock in order to drop on that wing beacon. Yep. So, are you familiar with how to do that? <laughs> that I can do uh, okay. with him or with you. Uh, either, because I'll engage on him and I'll drop. I'll I'll do it. I'll I'll do it on Karen because that's what we'd have to do oh. in. Yes, um, I'm the client in the game. Yeah. Yep. In the game. So I should just basically need to slow down to the the correct speed, and it will drop me out automatically, right? Nope. As soon as you are within, uh, it's based on what the local maximum super cruise speed is at the point where that beacon is. Anytime you reach within five times the radius of that super cruise speed, you'll drop. At here, it's probably going to be about mm, maybe 300. All right. Well, let's put that to the test. And this is Educating Ed. Welcome to Educating Ed, episode one, everybody. If you've just joined us, thank you so much for joining us. This is the live stream where I join a, a prominent community group and they show me the ropes about what they do. Today is episode one and we join the Fuel Rats. Uh, we've got loads of interesting things coming up in future. Uh, I'm going to be doing some racing, believe it or not, with the Elite Racers. <sighs> I'm going to be doing all sorts of interesting things. Uh, okay. I'm joining the Elite Secret You should Service. be dropping right about now. It's not dropping me. Mm -hmm. Did you engage Wingman Navlock? Yes. This isn't going oh, too fast. Oh, I see you. No. That's no, you see me. Then I come there. Yeah. Well. Uh, oh. Did you press a hot key to engage Wingman Navlock, or did you do it through the menu? I did it through the menu. Oh, okay. That was interesting. I don't know why that happened. Uh, hold on. No contact here. So, right. Well, I'll just have to wait till my FSD calls down. This is what this is is a lesson oh, okay. in how to mm. not 
Uh, I should have gone on Radlock, says Adam Woods. <laughs> Thanks, producer Adam Woods, telling me exactly how it's done. Yes, really, Osborn, all right? Yes, really. Maybe you've okay, just so encountered well, the worked. instancing. Oh. Right. That is possible. No, no, I wouldn't say so. I'd say it was a human error. Um, well, you are so, free to try again. Don't be so hard on yourself. B minus. Frame shift drive. B minus, charging. everybody. <laughs> okay. Since Four, you're still nav locked on the three, Karen, when you jump two, out into super cruise, one, it should drop you right engage. back. We'll see if it drops you in this instance. If not, what you could do is change the nav lock to me, and then jump again and see if dropping on me will okay. work. I'm just gonna get super close in. Hold on one second. By the way, where you're taking me here is uh, looking pretty splendid. It says wing my navlock, but I'll I'll engage wing my navlock on you. It says I'm on there. Oh, I think I took it off because I locked onto this onto the other thing next to it. I, that's probably why I'm really stupid. I have played the game before today. All right. Kids. Sure. That's good. So, yeah. Wing signal, Karen, it's saying I'm going straight towards it. Um, but I don't know why. Hold on. So I can drop now, right? When I'm lower than. Uh, you can drop when it says safe to disengage, but you'd be targeting the wing beacon hmm. instead of just flying at it. Yeah, hold on. So. Mind the big blue thing. Everybody says. By the way, beautiful looking game, right? Am I right? Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> So it says it's l further away. I'm a bit confused. Oh god, I'm I'm I feel like I'm failing. That always happens. Yeah. It's uh I feel like I feel like Ed, the Galactic intern, is is losing respect as more and more we do this. Hold on a second. See I'm I'm really far out still, I think. I think that's what's happened. Sorry, I'm gonna point away from the planet. Thanks for running, Ross. Thanks very much. Good to see you there. This is what I need. I need support from the chat. I'm heading towards you now. Okay. Uh, so I need to be how? What's the distance I need to be before I'll drop in with you next to you? By this Bro. point in real life, uh, do you think that you all will have you would have died by now and run out of fuel and actually died? Depends. Uh, depends. Oh god, I've lost. I lost. Karen, I lost you there for some reason. Uh, the um, wing beacon will time out. After okay, a can you put another wing beacon down for me? Sure. And Thank you very much. Thanks for your patience. I am. Um, um, and wing. The Is galactic it, uh, intern. Uh, so it's like it's like when you call up a call center, and you're like, please don't be, please, please, please don't be a. Uh, <laughs> please don't be mad. <laughs> <laughs> So oh. do you get the beacon again? I'm in. Oh. I did it properly there this time. There you go. I heard you. I see you. Nice. I'm thrilled. I'm pleased. This is this is what we needed. This is what we needed exactly. <laughs> here we go. Oh god. They, oh, so that's you right there, right? Right. Okay. Here you go. I've just zoomed past you. So, Mr. Radlock, what do I do now? By the way, look at this stunning view that you've brought us to. As if it was planned. As if you'd accidentally if. landed here. Golly. You can see a sun that is um, sixteen thousand light year, uh, light seconds away yeah. through the gas giant. It's absolutely amazing, and that's what okay, uh, so uh, me, me, is expecting you. About, I'm getting my bearings. Space. Please don't bump me. There you go. <laughs> I'm leaving you forever. This is actually just a cruel joke, but yeah, that does look amazing. Look at that thing. Okay, Ed. Uh, Sorry. Next thing you're gonna yes. want to do to actually wait a minute. What just happened here? We're here. We're still here. No, we got company. Okay. That's oh no. That's interesting. Was that planned? Oh no. Not planned. Should I run away at this point? No. Hang on. 
What kind of company? Looks like they're just checking out. Uh, okay. right. They're not wanted, so shouldn't be a problem. Emergent content right here. So yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so Ed, in case this does change, let's go ahead and get Karen refueled yes. so he can jump out. Let's do it. So, have you already bound your fuel transfer lipid controller to yes. a fire group? I have actually okay. managed to. That thing I can do, and I have done that before. <clears throat> okay, then go ahead and target Karen and fire off a limpet at him. Okay. I literally just shoot at him. I don't have to aim at a specific area nope. of him or anything like that. Just to get you just me and shoot. All you have to be is within range, and once you're in range, it'll allow you to fire a limpet. Oh, it'll yeah, let I, I actually haven't done my fire groups correctly at all. Like an idiot. There you go. Programming <laughs> limpet drone. Oh, there he goes. He's off. Transferring fuel. Yes! This and is so this is actually genuine the first time I've ever done this. So I'm really, really keen. So yeah, how much should how much should I do? How much should I give to him? Oh, look at that. I'm oh, half yeah. full. You're half full, so you need another one. Yes? Yes. Programming limpet drone. That'll generally be the case. Smaller ships, uh, the Sidewinder comes stock with about two ton tank. Some people could outfit it with four ton. Yeah. Other small ships like the Eagles and the Vipers, usually four tons will be enough for them. And in general, four tons will be enough to usually get a ship to an adjacent system where they can either scoop some fuel from a star or okay. actually find a station to refuel at. I did it, guys. Everybody, I refueled somebody. I, I feel like that's a victory in itself. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Even despite all of the errors and the and the learning, uh, the different you learn you learn through your mistakes, and that's what happened. All right, so so go easy on me, go easy on me. <laughs> I'm now, does that mean I'm a, no? We'll decide whether I'm a fuel right at the end. And in fact, the community in the chat has to decide whether I'm a fuel right at the end. Uh, right. What do we do now? Now that we've got now that I've got Karen, now that Karen's all fueled up. Well, well maybe we can try a tactical face plant. No, 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 that's definitely not something that I want to do in this ASP. Also, I'm not used to flying the ASP, but I have to say, oh, hello, I have to say, um, this ASP is really sluggish because of how it's set up for the for the jumps. So all of this really sluggish flying I'm doing, I'm usually much better than this. Genuinely, I'm usually much better than this. But, hey, um, we've got time, we've got time for some more. What, what more do you want to do? What do we do next? So we could try one more drill, okay. uh, a little bit more complicated. Well, maybe more does Karen need to get somewhere first? Yes. So Karen, if you go away, I can ask you guys some questions as you're moving away from me. Um, yep. And then we, I can t show people what I've learned and actually, you know, do this properly. Let's see how this is. Yes, it goes. So, Bradlock, you yes. started after Karen, but I think Karen wanted to give a shout out actually to somebody. Is that is that correct? A shout out to uh, the person who founded it. They did they start the original? Oh. you mentioned him at the start, but I'll just do it again. Yeah, I, I mentioned uh, Sully Badger, who founded us. But uh, we have so many people that need a, a shout out because we we work with so many of them. Uh, yeah, we have, um, it's crazy. Well, Radlock is here. We yeah. have uh, Kitson is a fluff, Steamliner, mm -hmm. many many good rats. Um, I wanted. Maybe we'll talk about Domac uh, at a later time. Okay. Because Domac is a legend to me. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk. I'll make sure we talk about him later. Um, so, could you give us some of your more famous stories? Maybe Radlock. Some of, some of the. You said you've done over a hundred. How many did you say it was? A hundred and thirty-seven. Hundred and thirty-seven of those. What's the sort of the most the most interesting story that you've come across has anybody done the most yeah. uh let's see so i've had i think the most is interesting story actually came shortly after uh the patch that brought in the uh, hazardous resource extraction sites yeah so uh we had a case red come in which is when someone runs out of fuel and additionally they run out of fuel to the point that they can't even power their life support system anymore. They completely drain their tanks. Everything's gone. Okay. So now the clock is ticking and we've got to rescue them. And oh, by the way, I ran out of fuel in a hazardous resource extraction site. <laughs> so the first step there in naturally for any case red where you've got a timer ticking down, the first step is to have the client log out of the game. That okay. essentially freezes their oxygen depletion timer. Uh, until we can actually get people into the system to help them. 
cheeky, uh, but we'll we'll let it slide for the yeah. purposes of the fuel rats. If it didn't exist, then yeah, anytime you ran out of fuel and were on an oxygen timer, you'd die. There'd be yeah. no chance that we could no, get you in time. That, yeah. Uh, but regardless, uh, so once we get the rats into position, get them to log back in. In this case, since you're completely out of fuel, now you have no power to even power your shields. So now you're sitting in a hazrez site that you have no shields, hostile NPCs all around, and you can't go anywhere. Sure. So that was probably the most intense one in recent memory that we've had. What would you say, uh, so what we, you say the most sort of famous one is? Oh, jeez, famous. Operation New Spike. Yeah, probably. Uh, Karen, if you want to talk more details on that one. So this guy um, lost his uh, fuel scoop. The fuel scoop broke at uh, 3.5 uh, thousand light years away. Light years. Wow. So he comes in contact with uh, Rusticulus, which is one of our best. And he says, well, I have no fuel scoop. Uh, I, can't, I can't scoop. I can't come back. And uh, we ended up um, organizing something in secret. And uh, we used uh, 500 limpets with, uh, I don't know how many rats came to him. And it was wow. uh, like <laughs> refuel, jump, refuel, jump, refuel, jump, over 3.5 thousand light years. Nice. That's nice. that's pretty good going. Um, so I I think it's absolutely awesome. Uh, Karen, have you got something else set up for us to do a little more of a complicated one, or do we need to go into open play to do this, or what what are we going to do? Um, Should we try and do a real one, or is that is that too nerve wracking because I maybe I wasn't was good thinking, enough? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about uh, taking a, a ship that has a better uh, range because okay. uh, I have only fifteen. Light years. Okay. So I just wanted to go to Apic real quick, and we can do the tactical faceplant in uh, Apic. Okay, the tactical faceplant is that actually a real thing? I thought you were joking. It's a real. That thing. is a real thing. So uh, it is one of many techniques we have to deal with. The issue that we have the most in actually rescuing commanders is yeah. instancing, getting into the same general area of space as other clients. Uh, a lot of that is connection-based, so we'll be in a wing, we'll have a wing beacon, drop on a beacon, empty space. They're not there. Mm. For whatever reason, the peer-to-peer -peer connection just couldn't connect our two clients. We can't see each other. We can't refuel. There's happens in a live build, yeah. happens in an online game. Right. So there's a couple of things we've come up with to get around that. Uh, there's one thing. So the way that you go into a rescue is first thing is you go on a wing beacon. You nav lock on the guy that has yep. the wing beacon up. That'll get you an instant drop. You don't have to slow down. Don't have to disengage or do anything. It gets yep. you there the fastest. If that doesn't work, then you disengage the nav lock, go back to super cruise, and then come in manually on the wing beacon. And yep. that mm -hmm. might work sometimes. Okay. Uh, if that doesn't work, uh, you can try essentially resetting the connections with the server by having everyone log out and log back in. When you're doing that, you can nav lock back onto that wing beacon and drop into where the client should be. So you're both thinking you're supposed to be in the same area of space. And when you end up reconnecting to the game, it might actually recognize that and you will be in the same area of space. Okay. So you don't even need a wing invite so, when you log back in. So that's cool. That's 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 cool. So the <laughs> You sometimes have to have to sort of battle against these sorts of things, and that's, that's yeah. It's it's fascinating to hear. Um, but I, I and I love your dedication that you guys put to making sure you can help people out. I think it's amazing. Is there any way that we can uh, to, to sh sh <laughs> I, I'm quite tempted. I quite I like the idea of going out into the real world and going into open play right now, and just I, I'm just just as just journalistically because I want to see if people will behave or not. Yeah, so I think we'll run this rescue pretty quick. It yeah. should only take about five minutes. And okay. then I've been watching the uh, IRC and looking for rescues coming up. It's actually been relatively quiet. Oh, okay. But I'm sure we could rustle up some activity for you once we're done. Okay. So I think this training drill we're going to do is mm. the one instancing solution that I haven't mentioned yet, which is the tactical face plan. So this I'm is jumping. tricky because... Uh, you have wing beacon approaches that you can nav lock onto, and that's your automatic drop. You can manual drop on a beacon. However, doing that puts you a certain distance away I, from where you're supposed to be. I think I, when think you've I, got, I, think I know where this is going. <laughs> yeah, when you've got a client that's, for example, face planted into a star, and they're at 
a region into that star that's right. beyond the exclusion zone, so you'll get dropped out behind them. You yeah. won't see them. They might be only, oh, I don't know, 100, 200 kilometers away. That's kind of a long distance to travel. Right. Your only solution is, well, face plan in after them. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm going to need some thorough instructions because I'm nervous about yes. this. Guys, at home on the on the chat, please give me your support. I need to see your cheering in there. I need to say, you can do it, Ed. I need everyone to say that. You can do it, Ed. I want to see people saying that in the chat because I need your moral support. And I need to know that if I do mess things up, you're going to let me, you're gonna let it, let me off. Okay, so in setting this there up... You go. Uh, this, is, this is it. You can do it. Brown <laughs> face. Face plant, Philip Coot says. Uh, yes. Show us what you got. Yeah, I'm going to. This is, yeah, I'm feeling good now. Feeling great. <laughs> okay, the first thing you're going to want to do it, right, in sorry, order to set on. this up is uh, disable uh, the wingman nav lock on Karen because okay. you do not want to drop on that wing beacon that okay. you're going to see. Done. We're going to end up wing manually flying into it. Yeah. So, Karen, are you ready for us? Yes. Okay. I just hit uh, 1 in 40 percent heat. Oh god. So right. this well, is this fine. Be fun. <laughs> nice reference, Karen. Nice reference. So, uh, go ahead and Ed, if you want to pull up your galaxy map and look for where our other part of our wing is. Yep. I'll Over give it. you a hint. Apic. It's an Apic. Yep. Got it. So, Go ahead and you target can, that and jump I'm in. I'm just chipping in. You can nav lock onto me and your FSD should uh, automatically engage uh, to a jump. And then you disable the nav lock once you're in system. It's a neat little trick to know when you're traveling with a friend uh, um, across many systems. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. It's not automatically Frame putting me in. Frameshift drive charging. Uh, cancel it anyway. Right. Shia LaBeouf says do it. So we're going to do it. Guys, this is it. This is the real. This is, this is the headlining act. It's not. I don't want it Four, to be. Hopefully, three, hopefully, we'll get enough time to two, try something in one, open. Engage. Uh, yep. Fingers crossed. But I do feel like I've learned a hell of a lot uh, here today. Uh, so thank you very much so far. And if anybody wants to know any information, where can people go to find out more information about the Fuel Rats in case they don't? So you don't can go to www.fuelrats.com, yep. and that is our website. It has most of the information on there, as well as instructions on how you might get to our IRC channels, yep. where you might get a quicker response to any questions you might have. All right, I'm staring right at Apex. Apex A. Okay. What you're going to want to do is navigate your way around uh, the sun, essentially, so that you're looking right at that wing beacon. Yeah, it's hard to tell what side it's on. Um, hold on a second. Usually, you can go away from the star and then circulate from yeah, uh, and then see. Big yep. Yeah, and see so see which side Fuel it's coming scoop. from. Disengage. That's yep. a so good, good shout. To make it easy for you to set up this one, I'm already kind of headed in that direction, so you can just follow me. Okay, now I see it. I'm on the right side. I need, I need to slow down. Okay, and I'm supposed to just head directly at the wing beacon, correct? Uh, not yet. You want to head away from the sun a little bit so yeah. that you get a straight head-on approach to that wing beacon? Yeah, I'm trying to, that's why I'm trying to line up here. Uh, what you're going to do is uh, put the beacon between you and the sun. Yeah, in a straight uh, line. Yeah. yeah, I've got that now, I think. Okay, and then what you're going to want to do, you don't want to go in full throttle. You want to try and throttle it back so that you're almost manual dropping. And then, unfortunately, that's going to heat you up a fair bit, but that's the approach you got to take. Just come straight in, keep that beacon right in the middle, and then right. uh, when so, you're close, so wait, wait, where, where am I throttling up to? At what point? Uh, I would probably just give it somewhere, somewhere around... 30 million meters per second, somewhere around that range. So it's not extremely slow. So just underneath the uh, blue part of the So I'm heading straight right of the beacon, correct? Yep. Yep. This is really nerve-wracking. The sun should drop you out. Just got to stay targeted Warning. right on that beacon. Warning. Temperature critical. Warning. Knows? I don't know. I might have critical. just missed it. Warning. Temperature critical. Oh, I can't see you on my rate. I can't see you on my scanner. Did I miss you? Uh, let's see. I got you on my scanner. You have? Yep. You have? 
I'm <laughs> genuinely so thrilled. Uh, whereabouts are you? I can't. It's uh, Radlek. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's a very I tricky was, maneuver to do. It requires I thought a lot I'd done it. I'm so disappointed. Everyone's so upset. Uh, I thought I was dead on it, throttling right. I am 17 kilometers away from Karen. So it is quite oh. tough to do that. It is quite yes. tough. Oh, yes. But that's the only way to get, because in those situations where he is completely out of fuel, doesn't have enough fuel to jump out to super cruise, because if he has enough fuel to super cruise, then Frank it's preferred that he charging. jumps away from right. the star so that we don't have to yeah, do this. Yeah, yeah. But if he's completely out of fuel, counting down on oxygen, this is the only approach we have that can make it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm sorry, but guys. Yeah, that's, I'm that's sorry that I, uh, I am aligning with the ship trajectory. Four, there you go. Three, two, Woo! Took some heat one. damage. Engage. Oh yeah, that'll happen. Okay, so Warning. that was okay. Uh, I would Warning. not expect anyone to get that on their first try necessarily. Oh, oh, oh gosh, critical. it just dropped me on your nav beacon. Oh yeah, that'll happen if you're nav locked. Yep. Well, I still don't see you though, so I need to take the lock, uh, lock off. Yeah. <sighs> right. This is honestly educating Ed. That's what it's all about. Drive what it's all about. Four, okay, I three, think we're about to two, get a one, rescue on engage. live. So well, if we, we get a live rescue, I give it a go. But yeah. as you've seen Fuel so far, I mean, I wouldn't be taking me on board. <laughs> I am, I am not a. <laughs> I need some practice. I think that's what I think everybody at home can agree that I need some practice. Everyone stumbles in their first few steps. That's right. That's right. So every every stumble is just one closer. Closer step to success. I think that's what it is. I think that's it. I think that's what, yep. is that what we say, everybody that from at home think that I don't know. Um, <laughs> but the fuel rats, so we've got another good fifteen minutes left until for, for, to fill this to, to to I mean I could go on for another two hours learning learning how to do this. Uh, but <laughs> you guys, honestly, we right. still love you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Yes. Steel Lab says I'm doing well. Mm, I mean, he's very kind of you to say so. Uh, so where, where are we going? Where are we going? Where okay. are we going? I'm going so to get that... a ship with 30 light, ra light year range. Yeah. It will be yeah. easier. Yep. So and then we stop. can go on live. All right. Okay. So yeah. where should so... I head back to somewhere to get repaired and pick up a couple of... Uh, a couple more fuel transfer limpets. Charman or... City. If you never look onto me, you'll get dropped right at the entrance. He says that. This is all. This is educating Ed. Learning about. Uh, learning about Navlock. <laughs> Should have known that stuff. Should have known that. Navlock is love. Navlock is love. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you going? There you go. Charman City. Nearby Apic A1. Just checking. One for one heat. Like it's no big deal. So I'm sorry, guys, that I, I didn't manage to uh, to land that one. I feel like I'm disappointed. I feel this. How how great it would have been if we actually landed in. Such a shame. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities. Oh, I think I'm gonna go. I'm screaming past you. Oh, this is a little shame. I right heard there. something. Yeah. Little shame. Shot. I wasn't paying yep. attention. I was looking at the chat. I promise. <laughs> I was hoping we were going to have a wing beacon and I wouldn't have to bother. I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that what would happen here is that people would see uh, all of my weaknesses come out. Loop of <laughs> shames, not knowing how to do proper, there we go. Not knowing how to do proper uh, <coughs> frame shift drops. That technically wasn't my fault, that one. Only 20k away, I think, guys. Thanks, guys. So, everybody in the chat, yeah, hey, how's it going? Are you enjoying yourself? You, is, I'm glad to see you here. It's absolutely awesome to see so many of you here in the chat and and uh, just joining us. It's really, really cool. Any questions for the fuel rats? Do you put them in there and I will make sure they get asked. And I think they're, I think they're reading as well. So, yeah. Karen, what's the most exciting thing you've ever done as a fuel rat? Um, code reds. Code reds are the exciting <laughs> ones, right? And uh, Long Range Rescue, uh, I remember one of my first, uh, someone called us from uh, 7,000 7, light years away and we had a rat race, like two, two rats uh, racing to get to the, yeah. 
to the rescue and it was uh, very fun like jumping non-stop uh, I think I covered four four thousand light years without knowing it nice mm -hmm. That's pretty impressive <clears throat> but um, I got to find I had a list of achievements of the fuel rats as a whole and uh, we, we we did everything Locking man request granted <clears throat> so as well, I want to, yeah, have you ever been ambushed by the way, like actually had people, yes. tell us tell us a little bit about an ambush. Very nice. Uh, Good question, Ashley Wilkinson, thank you very much. Very nice, Sege. Uh, that way I can speak about uh, the Mac. So, uh, you know about combat logging, right? Yeah. I do, unfortunately. We don't endorse it, of course. I don't either. But um, I was uh, called one time to a rescue and uh, I happened to fall into the instance and there were like 15 ships and uh, all I see on my radar is uh, 14 uh, triangles empty yep. wow. and I was like oh wow. shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they go like uh, hello this is a code and you are now <laughs> an hostage and Those I'm guys. like no! And I, I panicked and I, I had to combat log and uh, I deeply regret it. So Domac was here and he says, okay, they want an stage, I'm going there. Mm. And for that I am uh, forever grateful because uh, he took my place when I was weak. That's very, very <laughs> honorable. Yeah, I had a run-in with code once. Uh, I think they were doing blockading oh, around Seamus, I believe. Still, still there, sorry? I just lost signal for a second. Yeah. Good, are you, good, good. Are you still uh, receiving? Good, yeah, good, good. That's nice. I think uh, I've oh, got a connection under my foot, literally, that I tap. And so this could go wrong at any second. Uh, <laughs> let's keep going. Let's keep going. We, we, can, we, can, we can do some more of this. I, I, feel, I feel like yeah. we haven't even... We haven't done a real one yet, and it could go horribly wrong. So, But that could be a nice way of, of ending the stream. But hey, oh, yes. please, everyone at home, behave yourselves. Enjoy yourselves, of course. Oh, it's all about enjoying yourselves. But... Enjoying, behaving yourself is part of enjoyment sometimes, right? Sometimes life is hard, and sometimes you have to <laughs> work hard, and that's what we're doing today. Uh, so, wait, what are okay. we doing again? Where am I? So, Ed, now that you're docked, probably, you can go into munitions and resupply your fuel limpets. I am, yeah. and I can indeed. Okay. Done. Did anyone see my flawless... Um... Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, flawless landing, by the way. Just, just, just saying. Just saying. It's pretty good with a gamepad as well, which actually I think is slightly trickier. Um, okay, Ed, uh, I've got a case for you, so yes. go ahead and log into Open. Okay. Have All right. Yeah, I'm going to come back to my uh, just a nice lo this logo that people haven't seen yet. If you haven't seen it, welcome to the uh, Educating Ed for episode one. Uh, we're going to be doing loads more of these, hopefully, because I have really, really enjoyed this. So I can't wait to join other groups of doing it. If you've got a group that you want to, um, if you want to get your group a little bit of exposure and you want the Galactic Intern, that is who I become during these episodes. If you want me to join you uh, for a night, then do get in touch. Community at Frontier.co.uk uh, with the Galactic Intern request uh, in the subject header and do get in touch. Anyway, let's do open play. Let's see how this goes. I'm really nervous about this because this is actually this time. It's actually, there's a little bit of, uh, uh, a little bit, so there's, there's more at stake in this one. Anything could happen. Right, should I just launch, should I just go for it, or what, what's happening? Yeah, go ahead and launch, and yep. uh, I will give you the system name that you need to get in your galaxy map. Everybody says good luck. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, Richard Walker says looking forward to this. I'm really nervous about this. <laughs> <laughs> Red luck, you're in open. I am in open. Intern is two. We have a Python. Engaged. Okay. Hello. In a wing. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, first hey, things Paul first. Is here. Yes. I'm sure there are a lot of people at this, well, station. Yeah, there are a few. It's pretty yeah. cool. So I've got Radlock. Should I put you into a wing, or do we wait and add nope. them to... No. We will wait. So, standard rescue. Uh, client is going to add us, and okay. add us to the wing accordingly. Yep. Uh, I might detected. just do... 
uh, the wing invites yeah. to make this facilitated. Okay. So right now I am waiting for a friend request from the client. In yep. the meantime, you can go ahead and open up your galaxy map. I can and I will. And the system you want to look for is Alri Sector OC V. Uh, Alri Sector. O Sorry, say that again. You might have to. Is it nearby? It is nearby. Uh, sorry, real estate. I'm already on there. Yeah. Um. So if you're familiar with galactic coordinates, it is exactly rimward from our position. No, that's not something <laughs> that I'm familiar with. Give me, give me a direct spelling right now. It, okay. Alri sector. A-L-R-A-I. Yep. Got that. Space sector, obviously. Yep. Got that bit. And then OC-V. Is that O or and zero C? That is O. Of course it is. C-V. Yep. And then space. Yep. And then B. 2-7. Sorry, is that Viva Victor? That is Bravo. Bravo. Bravo 2-7. 2-7. All right, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Should be 20 light years away. That's correct. Okay, I have locked, I've plotted my route. I should have been able to see it with my eyes. But when you've got a stream going, when you're doing a live stream, look how people are being so polite and not shooting at me. This is really lovely. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Oh, Cannot comply. Of course, my landing gear is landing gear retracted. Frame shift charge right. detected. Here we go. Take a sip from the uh, from the fuel rats mod. Mm. Ready to go. Fuel rats. It's time for the real thing. This is all very exciting. Uh, let's go. Frame shift drive charging. The no no tricks this time, right? No tricks, okay? You guys no are tricks. not gonna trick me at this point. This is what actually tricks? a real. I hope it's I hope it's somebody that we know. That would be really really fun. <laughs> well, I, I can tell you there will be no tricks from us. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, engage. you can't you can't you can't guarantee what other people are going to do, can you? Yes. Um, but yeah, thank you again, guys, for turning up and coming to watch this. It's been it's been really really funny, uh, really fun. So I'm really looking forward to. I think we should. I want to do the. I want to. I'm going to roll with the fuel fuel rats anyway. Even if you guys don't take me on, all right? It's going to happen. There are lots of people in this system. Lots of people. Uh, what a surprise. Fuel uh, scooping that complete. fuel scoop, by the way, is amazing. Paul Kavinsky, we are ready to assist. Thank you, Paul Kavinsky. This is, I knew that the community would come together in such a positive way. Really, really nice. We're a nice collection of rats here. You guys. You guys. The best. Right. So. Do I have uh, a contact? You should shortly, because I'm about to invite you to this wing. Okay. But uh, usually what I would do here, let's just do it like as if it was real. You Ooh, guys yes. would contact them and say, add me as a friend. Yep. Okay. And then once and then you are friends me. with them, yep. like I am now, yep. then they would invite you to the wing like okay. I do now. Yep. And also adding Karen to the wing. Okay. So Zuckus. Yes. Hey, he's a yes. <laughs> Okay, halfway to a quest is the only reason I bothered. Right? Okay. <laughs> is this set up? Because this is too. No. This is too this good. This is not set up. This is too good. So he needs to do a wing beacon, right? Am I right? That is yep. correct. And Dairy Bear, our dispatcher, will be communicating with him to get that done. Is this this isn't real. This guy can't actually be genuinely. Oh no! This is quite normal, actually. The guys, this guy saying like, "Oh, I wish this is advisable. That is advisable." What's, oh no, that's you. So that's you talking. Sorry. What was he saying? <laughs> he says halfway to a crest is the only other. I suppose I'll add a fuel scoop. This is. <laughs> you advising him? Yes, add a fuel scoop. It's generally a good idea. It's not set up. It's, it feels. It feels like it is set up. To be honest. Very funny. Uh, so sorry. What's happened? Where am I? Where am, where am I doing this? Uh, so right now we are waiting for the client to activate their wing beacon. Yeah. Uh, Dairy Bear, our dispatcher, has instructed yeah. them to do that. So as soon as they are familiar with that, because this is actually a new player, just started yesterday. Is this, honestly, this out. is true? Yeah. So this player uh, we get probably a lot doesn't that. even doesn't know that he's about to be on a stream in front of 400 people. I don't oh, no, I did tell knows. him that. He does. I, I, I warned him before I invited two other random people to his wing. Because, you know, some people might get concerned at that. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Some people. People like us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So has he dropped a beacon yet? Or? Uh, he has not. And let me check. 
I mean, I can just, I can, I can just drop in at his location. Uh, if you knew where his location was, that is. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's true. Well, I, I can't so yeah, we lock onto him. we are going to need that wing beacon if we are going to find him. Yes. Yeah, this is this is pretty awesome. This is really really cool. Uh, okay. Um, Oh, because I've got Karen and Radlock rather than that guy. I see. Uh, Function tab on your right. Yeah, he must just not know how to do it. That's interesting. Hey, we all learn though, so I have I have so much sympathy for that guy who doesn't know what oh, yes. to do that. Uh, so yeah. Looks like Ed's gonna drop a beacon in a minute. <laughs> Rude <laughs> jokes aren't allowed on the stream. No, they absolutely are. Everybody, while we're waiting for this to happen. Uh, I've had a real blast so we are going to be doing more of these we're going to be doing next week uh, I think I have a secret mission lined up with the Elite Secret Service next week actually and I don't think I can go into too many details because I don't know any more details myself so you really have to join us and join us on there and, and see how that unfolds because I think that'll be a lot of fun but I have had so much fun I think this is such an amazing way to start with the Fuel Rats tonight uh, it is 8 o'clock but I really want to see this through to completion uh, so yes, uh, yeah. as soon as we get that wing beacon. Yeah, if he's gonna drop it, I have not heard back from him yet. Poor guy, he's probably worried. How did he know to come to the the um, the fuel rants? Now that is a good question. Uh, there's any number of sources. It could be just from Reddit. Uh, there's actually a Steam guide that's fairly popular. So if that were the case, it could have come from there. Yeah. I, I, I honestly, this is it's so much fun. And, and I think this is why Elite Dangerous is so special to so many people because of how much you can, how, how much imagination uh, and how much you can get. It's not, you don't even need your imagination for this. This is actually something we're doing in the game right now to do this. But like you combine that with the fuel rats, the idea of what the fuel rats are. And it, it's just so awesome. I, I really, are you still with us, Mr. Zuckers? Maybe he's getting confused with the text chat. Maybe, maybe not. But I haven't heard him in IRC either. Okay, so maybe he's dr he hasn't dropped out. He's still in. He's still here. He's still with us. In yep. Speeds. Yeah. We should just next next week. This. Uh... Imagine an evening with the Hut and Truckers, says Ian Norman. That would be a boring one. Absolutely not. The event that we have planned to spend the night with the Hunt Truckers is going to be a really, really, really good one. I'm going to be running it. I'm going to be the dispatcher. And if you've seen tonight and how much I actually messed up doing things here, <laughs> you'll see that that one is going to be pretty hectic. So I do recommend coming to that. I think we're doing that one the first week of December, but I don't want to confirm these things. But we've got, we've got loads of these planned. Uh, and like I said, if you've got a community group that you want to get involved in one of these, community at frontier.co.uk, let us know. Put the Galactic Intern in the subtitle, sub -title, and we'll see what we can do to, to get you on these streams. Uh, you have to have as an amazing voice as Radlock, though, uh, so mm -hmm. you're not allowed on unless you sound as good as him. Setting the bar pretty low. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to go to the, the holographic bartender. Yes, I would love a drink, Mr. Alec Turner. Can you please pour me a, a, a gin and tonic? I'll have a Lavian brandy. Lavian brandy. Mm. In a fuel rat smug. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. There he is. He said yes. He said yes. I don't know what. Oh, okay, good. I don't know what that means. That means he's still with us. That means he's still there, but I don't know what that means. Don't pour me an absent surprise. Activate your wing beacon. Okay, activate wing beacon, please. Uh, God, so much for once. Red pilot lies. I, I will. I buy all of the fuel rats to drink after this. As soon as we've done our first successful real life refuel, this is going to be such a great moment if we get this done. I'm staying here until we've done, even if it takes two hours. We're going to save Zuckus. We're going to get this guy back home. Leave no yeah. man behind. Am I right, chat? Leave no man behind.
Bubble rats, Chris Van Dyke. Right oh. oh, there we go. We, we go on, go on. Get dropped. And no one. No one. Uh oh. Well, instancing issues. Okay. So right, now we so. ask Zucus to get to Super Cruise. Yep. Okay. Oh. Go away. Okay. First so thing you're going to want to do yeah. is cancel Navlock on Zuckus so that when you jump out, you don't get dropped right back in. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Great. So I've done that. And then jump back to Super Cruise. Just jump straight back into Super Cruise? Yep. Yeah. Frame shift drive okay. charging. Hello, everybody who just dropped out with us. Frameshift drive is disrupted by people, by factors of 17. Disruptive mass. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Come. Uh, I got a weird signal right ahead. Okay. Sensors to the max. So I'm trying to. Uh, it's still trying to charge on this. One second. I'm trying to get away. Oh, hold on. No. What are you discussing with him in the chat? There. Sorry, I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. I asked him to super cruise. Hey, educating Ed, right? How's the best way to get this? Obviously, um, to jump into and back out to reset instancing. Okay, I see. Yeah. Okay, if we see the guy in Super Cruise, it's yeah. actually easier. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, mm -hmm. You got Radlock and waiting for. Yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. I'm literally about to charge up now. It's just that I'm mass locked to people because this is the slowest chip I've ever been in my three, life. Three, two. One. Not that I'm complaining, Engage. I'm having a glorious time. Right, what am I doing now, guys? So this is Radlock and... And me. I yep. get the Galactic Intern. So now we wait until he can jump into Super Cruise, and then once he shows up, either in Super Cruise or otherwise, we can follow him in and drop on his wing beacon afterwards. Okay. Oh, uh, do you want me to get you a very nice uh, music? Oh yeah, go, go on. Great. Okay, this is the YouTube link. I d oh, if I'd know, pause. Stop. Don't do that. We might be taken yeah. off YouTube. They're very strict with that uh -huh. sort of stuff. Naughty times. So yeah, everybody, thank you very much. I, what, what I'm going to do really oh. quickly, actually, is... Play this. Zucus, I got him. Oh, This is a public service announcement from it. the Fuel Rats. Is got it him. A side Please stop what you're doing and pay attention. Okay, now drop. If we can rescue oh, you, I'm, I'm we going will. Back in. I'm going back in. I'm you. going back in. Okay. I've got him. Yeah, I've got him too. Wing interdiction. Uh -oh. He's being interdicted. That's ridiculous. By, uh, by an NPC. an NPC. Right, okay, well that'll give us uh, someone to drop this. though, right? Yeah. Who's got weapons? So, I, got I haven't. Him. I'll just ram the NPC. Ahead. Go ahead and nav lock on to uh, Zuckus. Yep. I will take care of this. You're taking care of it, are you? You're taking care of this. Sorted. Nice. <clears throat> Alright. Yes! I'm so yeah. excited. I'm so excited this is happening. Who will we get? Limpet first. Zuckus. Yep. Hey, Zuckus. How's it Forget going? Forget everything, fire Limpet. Fire Limpet. Programming Limpet Drone. Programming Limpet Drone. Transfer. Now you can chat. Now it's safe and you can chat. Hey, Zuckus. Hey. Can I can I do voice chat with him? I wonder if he's got. Uh, I'm gonna get, should I give him another one? Limpet I'll give him another one. Go ahead for it. Scan detected. We are live in Transferring front fuel. of 400 people on YouTube. I just, we've, got to, we've got to get him. We've got to say something. But everybody, thank you. There you go. We did it. Can you believe it? We. I did my very first fuel run. Commander Zuckus, I'm so pleased. Look at it, nice lol. <laughs> That's it. That's all we get. That is all we get. Victory. Victory not just for me, 
but Victory for the Fuel Rats. And I think that is the probably a nice way of calling it. What we'll do is uh, I could honestly carry on doing these all night. I've had so much, so much fun. I, I want to say a few uh, hello to a few people who joined us actually here. Uh, we've got Commander Rubber Psycho. Hello, Commander Rubber Psycho. Thank you for coming. That's very, very, very cool of you. Uh, Commander Radlock, of course. Um, oh, who's this? Uh, Mr. Ashley Wilkinson. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, don't collide into me. It's not your fault. Not your fault. Commander Poi! Hey, Poi. Ah, there you go. I've got, I think, somebody else here. Yeah. Uh, Rad to pilot. Lovely to see you. Anyway, should I say goodbye to... Nice lol. Full on fuel for future reference before I jump. How do I know if there's a port there? <laughs> so, yeah. But then this is it. This is all part of it. You're offering really sound advice now, and you're letting him know right. about this. This guy, I hope he's. I hope he realizes. Somebody make him famous on Reddit. Let's get some. Let's get a picture of him. He's not disappeared yet, has he? He's he's over there somewhere. Uh, oh, I'm going backwards as well. Let's get a nice a nice screen grab. Yeah, thank you. That's really, really, really nice point. Ink Drop Falls. Thank you, Fuel Rats, for making Elite Dangerous a really awesome place. Uh, and I think that this stream has just showed off how nice you guys are. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let's have a look now. Oh, God. Oh, let's slow down a little bit. I don't know if you guys um, uh, have uh, any Fuel Rats mugs. To hand, do you? You don't suppose you have? Them? Uh, not on hand. No, I, I believe Surly might have some. I'd have to check with them and see. I, I should yes, have asked uh, you this. We, we have some to hand, yeah. Yeah. I, so I'm gonna exit out now. But thank you guys so much. I'm gonna literally exit to the main menu and just come back here and bring us to the opening. So that was an absolute amazing experience. I really, really appreciate everybody being here. But I think that what would be really, really nice is if we gave away one of these beautiful Fuel Rats mugs. Uh, so what I want everybody yeah. to say in the chat right now, if you don't, if you guys don't mind, I'll make sure I pay the packaging and postage and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. If you guys don't mind, uh, we're going to give away one of these lovely mugs. Ooh. Ah, very nice. So what we need to do is everybody in the chat, if you all say thank you fuel uh, oh no i know i want to be a fuel rat everybody say i want to be a fuel rat in the chat and i will stop after a certain point and then we will pick somebody randomly on there to actually win uh, make sure that you send an e i will make sure i send you a pm on youtube as well so you've definitely got the right person here but yeah bring it on yeah let's do this let's see how many people are sit here and mm. enjoy a just reward from my fuel mats fuel mats fuel rats mug I'm overwhelmed. Overwhelmed with positivity. Oh my. Look at all these people who want to be a fuel rat. Mm. <laughs> I am already a fuel rat. <laughs> 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 all right. Uh, let's call it there. I think that's a good shout. But this has been a real awesome time. And uh, I do want to say we are going to be doing more of these. Uh, I think next Thursday, uh, like I said, we're going to be taking some time with the Elite Secret Service. But yes, thank you all for watching. And let's pick somebody at random here. Uh, do, 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 F10, do the thing. And we have found... Your road had to be somebody with a weird name, didn't it? That I can't read properly. Eero Tarunen. Sorry if that's not a weird name, but it did read strangely for my English tongue. Eero Tarunen. Congratulations, you have won a Fuel Rats mug. Uh, and thank you so much. I hope everybody enjoyed. Please do uh, leave us some feedback on forums and Reddit because I want to know if you guys want to see more of these. Also, thank you so much. Uh, Eero Turner, I just need to make sure I write down that name. Somebody write down that name for me. <laughs> oh, okay. This one. <laughs> we found him. Eero Turunen. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. If you just do, because I'm, 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 I'm busy here. Oh, so uh, this is another thing I want. I want everybody in the chat, just before we move on, to quickly say, do you think... First of all, thank you so much, um, Karen. Yes. Thank you You're so welcome. much. Honestly, I, I think we need to do a sequel soon. soon. And, uh, and thank you so much to Radlock, of course, with your incredible voice. Where can we hear more of your voice, Radlock? Uh, so uh, most of my work I usually post on my site. That's www.mattoco.com. Okay, fantastic. So you can hear all that sort of stuff and see the videos there as well. And uh, Karen, is there anything that you'd like to quickly promote about the community? Or are you just all about the fuel rants? 
I'm all about the fuel rats. I love these guys and they save so many lives. Yes. It's uh, incredible. Amazing. What a lovely time we've had. Uh, before I go, it's all down to the chat. I think that's what we do. We'll work out a voting system next week. But for the first time, just let me know in the chat. Do you think that the fuel rats should hire me or fire me? Hire me or fire me? You're hired or you're fired. I might have borrowed that from uh, The Apprentice, but there are other BBC shows available. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what the let's see what the uh, <laughs> what the chat decides. No, chat is a bit. Uh... Hired. Hire him. Hire. Hired. <laughs> Fired. Fat princess. What? Oh. Maybe now is the time to mention uh, we don't have a, a recruiting process. Okay. Like, if you want to be a fuel rat, mm -hmm. come to us, say you want, and you're in. Okay. That's, that's fantastic. I really do think. Totally high. Pretty much. I think that is, I think that's almost unanimous. I'm going to say it's unanimous. Guys, do you take me on? Am I hired? Yes. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Room it, for improvement, but it, I think it, you can do it. Yeah, some serious You got potential, room for kid. Uh, but thank you very much, guys, and thank you for watching at home. Again, I, I think we'll leave it there, but you've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to doing another one of these next week. Keep your eyes pinned on the newsletter for more information about that, uh, which we're going to put out tomorrow. And can't wait to see you, and we will uh, see you all tomorrow. I'm going to end the stream right now. Goodbye. Bye, Goodbye.